respond to it. A Barragani, what's the news? The news today is Kuumba creativity. I say Kuumba creativity. Kuumba creativity. Uh, do we have permission from the elders to proceed? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for the elders giving us permission to continue this celebration. And uh, we're going to move on. And today we're celebrating again Kuumba. Kuumba, which is creativity. And before we do anything, we want to uh, get permission. We got permission from the elders. Now let's go ahead and light these other candles. Because we've done all the candles except Kuumba. And we're going to light that candle now. And of course, we got Imani, which is the last candle. But I want to go ahead and light the candle. The first candle was Umoja, Unity. The second candle, Kuja Chagalia. And the next candle was Ujima. And the next one is Ujima. And then we have Nia, Purpose. And of course, we have today. Kuumba, creativity. Important the libation is traditional in our Kwanzaa celebration, just as it is in many of our celebrations. We always pour libation, giving thanks to the ancestors, the elders, the invulnerable, and to ancestors, those who made it possible for you and I to be here today. We pull libations to all those who gave us the strength, the energy, and the enthusiasm and excitement to be here today. We thank all those who engaged in the struggle in for our liberation. Many, too many to be named, we pull this libation. We pull libations to my mother, Ruby Lee Parker, my father, Deloitte Parker Sr. Elder Jean Wilkins Denver. Oh, yes, I see Elder Jean Wilkins Denver. And as I pull my patient to her, over here is her hat with all the buttons. You can't see it necessarily from here, but this hat. She's a lady who struggled and gave all of herself to the struggle of liberation. Elder Jean Wilkins Denver, we pull our patient for her. Ayana Ade, we pull our patient. We pull our patient for us in. Wali, we pull our patient. All those who came, they lived, they fought, they struggled so that we can be where we are on this day. Full our nation. Ashe? 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 I would like to bring up our speaker for today. The sister who has a wonderful message for us. And we want you to, those of you at home, focus. And I want you to look and I want you to listen. Because this is a very, very important message that we have for you to, to take in. We want to bring up to you the sister who has a message for us today, Iyansa J. Muse. Come on, sister. Thanksgiving bought a delicious pilgrim slice of reversed and perverse history, but the spread was mighty nice. My gratitude is daily, but who's making lists and checking twice? Reminders, reindeers, eggnog, mistletoe, all this is birth of Christ. Whose home is a North Pole? The point of spirit, right? Right. Eshu is a title I find more suffice. I welcome it by all tutu. Winter solstice under commercial Christmas lights. Hanukkah, Yom Kippur bring their practitioners chipper delights. But what about Kwanzaa, I'm thinking? Slice my mango. Take a bite. Stare into the candle flame in my third eye and see all seven ignite. Not to be by humbug, but my ancient wisdom got dug up. Root soaked in the libations of a new milk in a painted jug. I sip and gaze at our customs with love and seven candle flames. And clutched them to my breast I hug and I felt Ujima where my care grows, Nia, where I scribe pose, Umoja, top priority in mastering the no-nos, Imani, where my heart knows, Ujama, where my gold flows, Kujijakalia, when I undress to switch clothes, Kuumba, 
in my roots to my elbows, stirring, stirring, stirring this gumbo that I celebrate my own Kwanzaa for the cosmos. I answer JT Muse. Thank you all for this time and space for allowing me to share my thoughts. So to first introduce myself, the stage or entertainment world knows me as Ayansa J. T. Muse, and the Yoruba world knows me as Iya Oya Bumi Funimole. And Kolumba is the sixth principle of Kwanzaa. It falls on what the calendar says is December 31st before Rome started messing with it. Jupiter rules Thursdays, the planet of expansion, they say. And this year, Kuumba falls on that day. Find that interesting. Because the sixth principle of Kwanzaa, Kuumba, is creativity. And creativity is for creating and performing acts that will leave this world in a better place than it was when it came. Now, Kuumba comes after Nia, purpose, and before faith, Imani. And the divine order of that is something representative of once you tap more into your purpose, and then the creativity is the action that you put behind that. And after you put that action behind that, the next day, the first day of the calendar year, January 1st, is when you put all of that into faith. Don't we find it interesting that Kuumba, the day of creativity, is marked by the last red candle? Speaking on some cosmos with that, red is the color of the root chakra our primal essence, close to the sacral, which represents creativity, the part of us that is God. That's the creativity of Kuumba. And when I say God, I mean the absolute, the almighty divine. Whether we say God, Allah, or Lord Mare, however we refer to that supreme being that puts that little bit spark of them into us what we create from our spirits and manifest in the world is what makes it a better place than it was before we came. And if we take that back, it speaks a lot to the creation stories, don't it? I'll give you an example. I was raised a Christian girl before I made my conversion. And I was really fascinated with the creation story of Genesis, of how the world or the universe was this cold, was just this abyss of darkness, which I would later learn is the cosmic womb of birth, pro creation, Kumba, creativity again. And the God powers that be created sky, sea, vegetation, animal, man, woman, human, created these things out of this vastness of space. So all of us have that spark of Kuumba that we should keep year round. So maybe that's why the red represents the flame, that lower flame that should just rise all the way up to the crown and keep us going in between purpose and faith. Speaking on some astrology for this year's Kuumba for 2020, which is by the way, 2020 boils down to a 22 four year, and that is the year of the master builder. Now, I know this year was very challenging for all of humanity, but see the key word in builder for 22-4 is master builder, which means that in order to build solid foundations, some demolitions are required. And after those demolitions come, which are part of Thea's purpose, that Kuumba comes up again, how we must recreate to build the foundation again for what our people are supposed to have and ultimately live through its humanity. Now, in the Western system of astrology, Kuumba falls under Capricorn season. Ruled by Saturn, the trickster planet, the sea goat, all of that. But when we look at our African primordial zodiac systems, 
We are in the season of the harvest, the harvest in the granary. Now what that zodiac sign means in terms of African zodiac, African astrology, is that this is the time for us to not only harvest all the blessings that we have, but turn around and use them in ways in which they can continue. In the season of comedic astrology, we are in the season of Isis. And in astrology, the planet Uranus, which is the planet of intuition, is in retrograde. Now, when that planet moves backwards, Uranus is telling us to tap more into our intuitive side, our creative side, if that makes sense. Because oftentimes we live in this society that tells us what to do and how to think and how we should feel about things and these cookie cutter ways that things are supposed to be done. But tapping into the essence of your kolumba, creativity, it, it means that you are recognizing that spiritual intelligence far supersedes human logic. So, and lighting the sixth candle in between Nia, purpose, and Imani, faith, is your kolumba. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be paintings or books or poems. And all of us have these things in us because as African people, we were storytellers by nature. But whatever it is that you have, whatever skill that you may offer to produce something to make this world a better place than it was before you came, it is your African, it is your spiritual, it is your human duty to execute. As African people, we come from creation. We come from people who made tools out of bones, who built houses out of mud, who made skirts out of grass. So the more you tap into your ancestry, the more you tap into your spiritual essence, you will allow your DNA to remember the creation you already know. And once you tap in, you can't just tap in and hold, basket it for yourself. No, no, no. You are a vessel. It isn't for you. It's for humanity. So, those are my thoughts on Kolumba. Thank you very much for your time, your space, and your ear. And in between Nia and purpose, reflect on today to use what the creator has given you to give to others. Ibashe to the ancestors. Ibashe Ibumbu. Ibashe Bobo Orisha. Kikamanshe. Kikamanshe to all of the elders who got in my path. And thank you very much to the Shape Community Center for allowing me to share this with you. And one last thing before I go. Keeping Kwanzaa for seven days is one thing, and that's the tradition. But I'm going to challenge you here, because I am a, <laughs> I'm a daughter of Oya, and Oya tends to change things. So let's challenge ourselves and keep the seven principles of Kwanzaa year-round. I'm Ayanta JT Muse. Thank you. Ashe. Ashe. One statement my mama and daddy invented rice krispies. So what do you mean, Brother Floyd? When that rice got scorched at the bottom of that pot, they didn't throw it away. They took that scorched rice, put it in a bowl, loosened it up, and added some milk and sugar. That was the original rice krispie. It's rice, it was crisp, and it became rice krispies. Now that's not a joke. I my parents were creative. We, didn't, we never missed a meal out of 10 children. We never missed a meal because they used that kuumba to make sure that we ate. 10 children, <laughs> they had to. We 
without using that creativity, we would have stopped. So sister, your message is powerful. We love you and we appreciate all that you have done, all that you will do in the future. Love you. Peace. Thank you.